Hello students, welcome to my class. In today's session, let me go through this question. What anxieties does Dr. Ambedkar express in his speech and what is the basis for his apprehension? This is the question. In the grammar of anarchy by Dr. Ambedkar, actually it's an extract from Closing ceremony of Dr. Ambedkar on November 25, 1949. So, this answer, yes, whatever this question, your textbook, in your textbook, they had given this, this type of question. What is this question? What anxieties does Dr. Ambedkar express in his speech? He is giving, he was giving speech on November 25, 1949. So, during his speech, what anxieties does Ambedkar express during his speech? Bim Brown Ramji Ambedkar is the chief architect of the Indian constitution and one of the makers of the modern Indian nation. He was a social reformer who fought for the rights of people from the deprived sections of the society. Yes, he is the chief architect of the Indian constitution and one of the makers of the modern Indian nation. He was a social reformer who fought for the rights of people from the deprived sections of a society. As the chairman of drafting committee of the constitution, he worked with the Prometheum deal to bring out a comprehensive document that was inclusive and had the capacity to hold the diverse populace, population of India together. So, Actually, he was a social reformer who fought for the rights of people from the deprived sections of the society. Actually, he belongs to low class society. So, because of that, he fought for the rights of people from his, from his deprived section of, of the society. Yes, he belongs to such type of community. So, he he knew the pain, whatever the pain of the deprived section in the society. So he fought till his end, death, till his breath, breath. He fought for the rights of people. Yes, so he's a, a social, he was a social reformer who fought for the rights of people. As the chairman of drafting committee of the constitution, he worked, yes, Next, what is that? And had the capacity to hold the diverse population of India together. He was rightly awarded the Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian award. Bharat Ratna. He was awarded the Bharat Ratna. The present lesson, the grammar of Anarchy, is an edited extract from Dr. B. R. Ambedkar's closing speech in the Constituent Assembly on November 25, 1949. The speech outlines the diversity of India and details the challenges the country would face in implementing the Constitution. The speech outlines the diversity of India and details the challenges the country would face in implementing the constitution. He emphasized, emphasized the need to build a nation on the basis of social equality. So what is that? Look at here. What is the grammar of anarchy? It's an extract. It is an editor extract from 
Ambedkar wrote in speech on November 25, 1949 in the Constituent Assembly. He was, he was saying a speech in front of Constituent uh, members in the Assembly. Yes. What is meaning of anarchy? Absence of government. The speech outlines the diversity of India and details the challenges the country would face in implementing the constitution. So whatever the challenge that India has to face. He emphasized the need to build a nation on the basis of social equality. So what he wanted, he, he would like to have social equality, democratic life rather than political democratic life. He upholds the roadmap that India needs to follow in order to hold its fragments together and graduate from being a country to a full-fledged nation. Dr. Ambedkar's three advice to give up grammar of anarchy. What is that? To give up the grammar of anarchy. What is anarchy? Absence of government. It's called anarchy. Here, what is that harsh rule? Yes, no government, absence of government, no rules and regulations. So, to give up grammar of anarchy, so three advices, he had given three advices to give up grammar of anarchy. First, to avoid hero worship. And to work towards the social and not just a political democracy continue to be relevant even today. So he wants to work towards the social democracy rather than political democratic life. Yes, he was giving three advices to give up grammar of anarchy. What is the first one? To avoid hero worship. So mostly Indians. Hero worship, whatever, they love their hero a lot. Hero worship, yes. In religion, worship, that is called bhakti. It's very good. Okay. But whereas here, leader worship, hero worship. So what is that? It is going to be partiality. So that should be avoided. What is that? Hero worship should be avoided by Indians. In religion, it's well and good having worship, uh, pray, praying God, I expect you, God, is it, is it okay? But it's clear. But whereas leader worship, that is that should be avoided in what Indian among Indians, and to work towards a social and not just a political democracy, continue to be relevant even today. But even today, this type of social, whatever equality, hero worship, whatever, that even it's falling today. But he wants a social democratic life rather than political democratic life. On 26th Jan 1950, India became an independent country. There are two thoughts that make Dr. Ambedkar anxious. Look at here. On 26 Jan 1950, India became an independent country. Next. Firstly, he is anxious about what would happen to her independence. To his. Look at here. What would happen to her independence? He also cautious whether India will attain her independence or not. It, uh, it again, lose it again due to the existence of diverse and opposing political parties and possibilities of placing their creed above the country. So here, India that is compared here with she, our nation is compared with she. So whatever the, uh, what is the anxious? Firstly, 
he is anxious about what would happen to her independence yes what would what would happen to her independence next because of several political parties in in, in our india so because of such type of uh, controversies among the political parties yes india will attain whether the india will uh, maintain this uh, her independence or it may what is that it lose it again due to the existence of diverse political parties because of opposite polit- opposing political parties so he is so much scared about that whether india is going to sustain this her independence or not because of the diverse opposing whatever the different types of uh, political parties having opposing opposing parties those are opposing parties because of these political democratic so is where he is in doubt whether the india is going to re- sustain it or not he gives historical evidence of india losing her independence in the past due to inferiority and um, treachery of some of her own people next second so what is the first because of political opposing different diverse opposing political parties whether the india is going to maintain or whether it is going to lose its whatever independence secondly secondly and equally Dr. Ambedkar is anxious about what will happen to India's democracy. Though India had earlier enjoyed its democratic and parliamentary tradition in the form of republics and the Buddhist Bhikshu Sanghas, we have lost it. As previously, India had enjoyed its democratic and parliamentary tradition in the form of republics and the Buddhist Bhikshu Sanghas. but we have lost that so he is very scared about that because already we we had that but we lost because of whatever this political demo, uh, the political differences so we lost that so he is in doubt whether our india is going to sustain this type of what is that social democracy or not whether it is going to continue this whatever though we get independence whether we are going to sustain in this in this or not maintain our independence or not whether indians maintain their independence or not he cautions the form of republic look at here he cautions that there is a danger of democracy giving place to dictatorship he cautions that there is a danger of democracy giving place to dictatorship what is that he overship yes he is so much scared about that so whether the social democracy the dream born democracy to retain its worth yes it is going to be whether because of this he cautions that there is a danger of democracy giving place to to what dictatorship It is quite possible for this newborn democracy to retain its form, but in place to dictatorship. In fact, if there is a landslide, the danger of the second false policy becoming actuality is much greater. So, if there is landslide, what is going to happen? Whatever the danger, whatever he felt about the danger, it is going to be become true. The danger, what is that danger? danger of democracy giving place to dictatorship it's going to become true so he's so much scared dr ambedkar also provides the indian three solution to maintain the democracy in reality firstly we should hold fast to constitution methods of achieving our social and economic objectives so what we should hold fast to do constitutional methods of achieving our social and economic 
objectives. Next, it means we must abandon the bloody methods of revolution. What is the bloody methods of revolution? Satyagraha, non-cooperation, civil disobedience, whatever that should be abandoned. Yes, we should not. We should abandon these such type of revolutions. It means that we must abandon the measure of civil disobedience, non-cooperation and satyagraha. Ambedkar considered these methods are nothing but the grammar of anarchy. Next. Secondly, for India, bhakti or what we call the path of devotion or hero worship plays a part in its political unequals in magnitude by the part place in the politics of any other country in the world. What is that? First one is grammar of anarchy should be avoided, should be abandoned. Next, what is that? What are these methods? What are the non-revolutionary and what are the satyagraha, civil disobedience, non-cooperation, satyagraha? Ambedkar considered these methods are nothing but the grammar of anarchy. What is that? No government. Secondly, whatever the bhakti, hero worship in political, that also is going to spoil our democracy. Bhakti in religion may be road to the salvation of the soul. Yes, bhakti is well and good to have this such type of. But in politics, bhakti or hero worship is a sure road, sure road to degradation and to eventual dictatorship. So whatever the bhakti in the religion is well and good, having such type of bhakti. Thirdly, we must do it not to be content with mere political democracy. We must make our political democracy as a social democracy as well. Political democracy cannot last unless there lies at the base of its social democracy. What does social democracy mean? So what is social democracy? It means a way of life which recognizes liberty, virtue and fraternity as a people of life. So what is such? Equality, liberty, equality and fraternity. These three principles are the basis of life. So what is a social democracy? It means a way it recognizes these three principles of life. Is it clear? So whatever the Dr. Ambedkar, so he was saying about this, India should attain democratic, social democratic rather than political democracy. Our Indian, we should avoid such this type of grammar of anarchy. So what is grammar of anarchy? Hero worship. Authority of a, only a single leader. Yes. So that whatever that should grammar of anarchy should be avoided. Then only India can maintain, India can sustain our whatever its independence. So, very, very important to give up grammar of anarchy. So what is that hero worship? Next, there should not be any political differences, political opposing political parties. Yes, and everyone should follow whatever the constitution, whatever the social democracy should be, should be, should be dominated rather than political democracy in India. Yes, what are the principles of life? Liberty. What is liberty? Giving freedom. What is equality? Yes, equality among. What is that? Togetherness. What is that? No differentiation between poor and rich. All are equal. Next to fraternity. So what is that? Brotherhood feeling. 
So these three principles are very very important. As it is, liberty, equality, and fraternity are the principles of life.